Good evening and welcome to Morris's Midweek Message. I hope you'll be able to join us for Sunday worship, whether you live stream it or you come and join us in the McWilliams Hall. Whatever way you choose to watch, we hope that you will feel God's presence as we would worship together on Sunday. As Jesus approached the end of his life, he spent time, a lot of time, in prayer. And in John chapter 17, there's a wonderful section where he prays for his disciples. And I'm sure after they understood what Jesus was going to do for them, these words became very important. For it told them that they were truly loved with a love that was sacrificial and whole and complete. And this evening, I want you to know also, just like those first disciples, that you too are truly loved. So let's read this prayer that Jesus made. You'll find it in John chapter 17 and at verse 6. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. And I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world. They are coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them. But they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. It's a wonderful feeling to know that you are truly loved. So many songs are written about love. Quite often very sad songs about Love that doesn't last and promises that are broken. Hearts that are broken. But this love that Jesus talks about goes beyond even this world. So let's look at this chapter and these verses together and see some of the things that we have in Jesus. The first is... And we find it in verse 6 that we belong. We belong to you as Jesus belongs to you and you to him. We are part of a family. We are not individuals alone, but we belong to you. And you belong to us. And we have received so much from you. Your word in particular, as verse 8 tells us. And your word allows us to understand your heart, 
understand your thought, understand the purpose that you have for us in this world. And this is something that we have received. You have passed it on to us through Jesus Christ, through his example, through his word. The early disciples received it 24 hours a day because they lived with him in his presence. They shared everyday life with him. We too can share each and every day the love that you have shown us. We can receive your truth. Verse 9 tells us that we are prayed for. We are prayed for by Jesus. He prays for our protection. He prays for our joy. He prays for our safety. He prays for our journey in this world. He prays for us as we fulfil your plan and purpose in the world. Verse 11 tells us that you will protect us, that you will surround us. So we belong, we have been received and we receive so much. We are prayed for, we are protected. And verse 15 is similar, but it says that we are guarded. Guarded by your spirit. We are sanctified in verse 17. We are made righteous and holy in your sight. So that we can enter into your presence. And finally, we are sent. We are sent out into this world with the good news, verse 18. All these words and all these prayers of Jesus tell us that we are truly special in your sight. We are amazingly loved, upheld and protected, guarded and guided as we journey through this world. We've entered into another serious period of COVID-related lockdown really we're wondering is this going to be worse than the first time we've come through so much are we going to have to endure some more and probably yes but we should not be downhearted we should not give up we should not feel that the world has come to an end because only you will bring it to an end. Instead, we must believe, we must hold on to the truth that we are truly and deeply loved by you. Could I encourage you to read again these words from John chapter 17? And just for a moment, take hope and courage from the fact that the God who made all things loves you beyond all measure. Shall we pray together? Father, such encouragement from your word this evening. From this wonderful chapter where Jesus pours out his heart before you and prays for his disciples as they are to face many difficulties and challenges in the days that were to come. But it reminded them in later days of the fact that they were deeply and truly loved. They were cared for and protected they were prayed for, they were sanctified, they belonged to you. Father, we too belong to you because of Jesus. And the promises that he made on their behalf, he makes for us too today. 
we face uncertain days. But we are guarded, protected, loved, prayed for by you. And so it is with joy that we go in your name to represent you in this world. And may grace, mercy and peace from Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all this night and forevermore. Amen. Oh,